Hello, this is Renee and welcome. It's been quite a while for me, so please bear with me. I needed time to rest and recuperate. Get myself together. If you know my journey, you you know my journey. Um, and my journey is still a healing journey. So I'm still moving forward. But let's see what Spirit has to say for our collective. Spirit, give me a message for our collective. Protect me and guide me as I deliver the message that you deliver to me. What does the collective need to know at this precise time? What's going on with my collective? What does my collective need to know, please? The moon, page of swords, <laughs> eight of wands, uh, queen of pentacles. I feel like for my collective, wow, this message I see this message so much. There's so many things that are being hidden at the moment. So many things that aren't being said. The moon is feminine energy. And the page of swords. You know, someone needs to deliver their truth. Someone... Someone is going to hear a truth, especially with the eight of ones next to that. But this truth is going to bring you stability. It's going to bring you. It's going to bring you exactly what you need at that moment. If you're in a relationship, this may be a stable offer coming into you. But I feel like there's something that someone wants to come clean about first, especially with this moon and this page of swords. Someone wants to tell you something that you may not have known. And with the Eight of Wands, they're coming in pretty fast. They want to communicate. They may not, with this Queen of Pentacles here, <laughs> they may be kind of holding themselves back from moving forward with this message. Or moving forward with this. communication or movement tell me about this why is the moon here spirit give me a message about the moon why is the moon here in the page of swords give me a message why is the moon in the page of swords here I am priestess <laughs> wow Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. I feel like you intuitively know what this person wants to tell you. I feel like you already know probably what they're going to say. They don't know that. But I feel like you know it. I feel like you know exactly what's coming next. With this Wheel of Fortune, I feel like there's a lot of changes that are happening for you. There's a lot of things coming forward. Tell me about this Eight of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. You're sitting in your High Priestess energy. You could be male or female. But you're sitting in your High Priestess energy. So you are not the one to be messed with. You know, you intuitively know things. You aren't scared to tap into your intuition. 
and I feel like you're a very good judge of character, especially when it comes to this person. I feel like you read them very well, and they just don't understand how you know so much, how you know what they're thinking, or how you know what's going on with them without them telling you. They feel like even though they try to come to you, you're constantly a step ahead. You constantly know what they want to say before they say it. Tell me about this Eight of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. This person feels like whatever they have to tell you, whatever they're coming forward to say to you, that you're going to cut them off. That you're just going to leave them out in the cold. You don't want to hear what they have to say. You don't want to, you know, you're not going to put up with their mess any longer. After they tell you this confession, you know, they feel like you're not going to want to deal with them anymore. That's the reason why they're scared. They're holding back. Tell me more, spirit. <laughs> oh, the four of wands. It actually wanted to come out in the reverse. You are this person's happiness. You are this person's safe place. And they feel like... They feel like they're losing it. They feel like if they lose you, they're going to lose everything. They feel like you're... Their safe place. King of Swords. Yeah, this person has a lot of truth to deliver. Oh, the Three of Swords. The person that you're dealing with feels like Whatever this is, it's going to break your heart. It's going to leave you feeling like you're just going to stand your ground. You're going to cut them off. We have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom again. And I feel like, you know, it's a shame because I feel like your person, your person that you're dealing with has been hurt over and over. Your person has been hurt over and over. And you're actually their safe place. You're someone who they can actually feel safe around. They may have told you little things that they may have not told anybody else. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom. So yeah, your person has a lot of love, a lot of respect. Your person cares a hell of a lot about you. But they're afraid that when they come forward that... You're just not going to see them the same way as you did before. You're, yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. They're lose, they have lost their confidence. They, when it comes to showing you this love or telling you whatever they need to tell you, they're losing their confidence. They feel like they can't take the risk that it's just not, it's just not in them to take it. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with, you could say, no, this person is so confident. This person has it all together. No, honey, they don't. Especially when it comes to you. When it comes to you, they don't have anything together. All that confidence goes straight out the window. 
because they may not show it but this is what they see they see that the love that they have for you is going to turn into heartbreak somehow somewhere they're going to mess it up that's why they're scared if you've been waiting for someone to communicate with you they're scared Give me some advice, Spirit. Give me some advice for the collective. Give me some advice for the collective, please. <laughs> the Wheel of Fun. That has come out three times. This is the third time that has come out. We have the Five of Wands at the bottom. This person is very conflicted. It's going to take them a while to come forward. I feel like a lot of things are changing for them. They're, they're battling. Your person is battling their emotions. They're going through so much conflict right now. And I feel like a lot of patience. I'm surprised temperance didn't come out. But I feel like a lot of patience is needed in your situation. A lot of patience is needed with your person. You have two of swords. Your person has decisions that they need to make. And I feel like they're choosing you. They want so badly to choose you. Judgment, yeah. They want so badly to choose you. But they feel like... At the moment, I feel like they, they're they feeling like all hope is lost, right? They feel like it's just, it's never worked out before. Why is it going to work out now? That's kind of how I'm feeling with your person. Yeah, release control. Try not to control the situation with this person give them a little bit of grace and let them work through these issues try not to rush them because I feel like whatever they're coming to you with it's gonna take a lot because I feel like this person I feel like your person doesn't normally put themselves out there like that they kind of keep things to themselves your person is a loner you know i don't care how confident they look take inspired action yeah be be graceful with this person whatever you do if you text them maybe text them affirmations text them something loving or you know when you come to this person Show that you care, you know? Yeah, work through your feelings. This person has a lot of feelings that they're working through at the moment. And it's going to take time. And maybe just let them know how loved and cared for they are. You know? Because I feel like this person may not be aware. They, not may, they may not be able to fully acknowledge how they're feeling you know give me a message what does this person want to say to you Ooh. there may be alcohol and drugs involved I don't want to be who I used to be you deserve better you know your person is working through a lot of things don't wait for me, please. You know, your person is pleading. I am stuck in visions of us together. They, they want you. Your person wants you. But they're stuck. And at the bottom, I'm better with my mind than my heart. So your person may be very logical. They may be very 
thought provoked you know um but i feel like they're working through some things they're working through how to come to you how to they're, <laughs> they're working on being a better person because you deserve so much better and they know that you know a helper a thought your life is about to start moving very fast events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all of your attention there's no time to sit and ponder you've got to get moving review the details as best you can you know will meet and are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasp what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So once your person gets through this conflict, moves through it, because they're, they're totally capable of doing it. Right now they're just battling the fear. Once they do that, everything's going to come quickly. Eight of Wands, quickly. So, this is your message. And I hope this helps. If you uh, resonate with this message, please like and subscribe. Um, if you'd like to donate to my channel, my cash app is dollar sign Renee Tarot. Or if you'd like a reading, take a look in my bio. Um, I'll also have it in my description box. Be confident. Be blessed. Love and light.